Hey, Spirit Boosters. Hey, Spirit Boosters. How y'all doing? It's I, Miss Janita, back again with another video. Yes, I've been missing in action because I injured my foot. I've been hardly able to walk around here. And then you guys know I also have to take care of my husband. And that's all this is a struggle. So, I'm still trying to recover. My son, he, he getting, well, he got me a, um, a knee scooter so that I don't have to walk on the foot and I can just put my knee on the scooter and do it that way. But it's difficult, too, because, you know, I got arthritis in my other leg, so it's crazy, but it's helpful because I won't be stepping on my sore foot and delaying the um, process of it getting well. Yep. My ignorant ass, my ignorant ass over here running and stuff accidentally and I injured my foot and it hurt like a SOB. Yes, it do. But I'm glad it's not as sore as it was before. I've been icing it. First, I was putting it, well, I did soak it in some Epsom salt, but it was warm water. So then after that, I put it on ice on it. Which made it feel better, but still, oh my God, inflammation up the, what, <laughs> the B.O. <laughs> so I hope you guys been doing well and stocking up too, because I, I, I heard the war going on and everything. People are terrified and it's all over the news. The lady in there interviewing them, poor people up in that uh, bomb shelter, wherever they are, allegedly. And I'm looking at the faces on some of these people. They look like they just want to allegedly tell her, to, will you please go away or something? Because it look like they don't, they are scared, frightened. And you have a news person in there allegedly trying to get comments from folks that are terrified and already, you know, overwhelmed with fear, allegedly. Well, I know I would be hearing bombs and stuff, and you don't know if they're going to bomb where you are. That's allegedly. It's crazy. So, I see as I lay in my bed nursing my wound, wound, should I say, I've um, been on and off the YouTube, not doing nothing myself, but um, looking at videos of preppers going chaotically urging, warning folks to go out there and collect as much food as you possibly can. I figured because the prices they say if they started a war over there in a, a Russia, a, not Russia, a Ukraine, allegedly, I know the price of gas was definitely going up. They said it's already was pennies from being five dollars. Some places it was already five dollars, so I know it's gonna be over five dollars, and that's a dent in your budget. A dent in your budget. Woo! Yes, that is gonna happen. Then I see, like I said, mentioned, the preppers is on the YouTube just warning and telling people to get stacked up, which they've been doing all along anyway. So I, I don't know. It ain't no different. They have already been suggesting folks stock up on this, that, and the other. And you've been warning them from day one, still warning them, whether this is a new something or not. But preppers that are already stocked up, they just trying to suggest to other folks go out there and get what you need in case something go down. Well, I know we're going down. The prices are increasing, steadily increasing. My favorite oil, like I said, used to be two something. Now it's almost four dollars. Some places it's five dollars. Food bless is over five dollars or something. So hey gonna have to balance that diet and then y'all can see in my video i have stocked up on these um hash brown potatoes yeah we love them and then one day i went to go order some and i think that was that video i was sharing with you guys about this i had cooked some and when i went to go get some make sure we had enough it was sold out and as soon as they restocked this product this is when I <laughs> went on there and got as many as I wanted to get because these, they say it make 50 servings. These are two pound, 11 ounce boxes and a little go a long way and it is good. It is good. You make that sausage bitches like 
for breakfast I'm going to make sausage biscuit because I got an order coming in because me myself I don't mess around even you know I'm buying stuff that we have uh, eaten and I'm replacing like fruits and milk and stuff like that that's going to be in another video coming up but I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on hey Patty hey Patricia hey um uh dang I forgot uh Shanna and uh Tiffany and Sarah sincere sincerely Sarah since Sarah she is the one that you guys see this right here this is a simmer mat no more burnt food now long slow simmering is easy and see if you guys can read that simmer mat for low heat cook it only this side down on glass stoves which y'all see I have a glass stove top and it says for induction wait, let, me, let me read wait, wait is it on the package wait a hold up, hold up y'all it says for um y'all can see this for uh glass ceramic or induction cookers this, and, um you just put the well if you get one of these this thing was twenty dollars on Amazon but it helps you from um, helps keep your stove from getting all scratched up. That's what um, I discovered when I was on Sarah's channel when she was using it. And also prevents you know you don't heat it up. It says you don't heat it up. You put it on your uh, over your burner after your food is cooking and you want to slow cook it. Then you would set that over to your fire over your burner if it's an electric thing, as you can see on the picture. But I told I told Sarah, I said, I'm going to give me one of these simmer mats. I didn't have a clue it was going to be that expensive, but it's well worth it. It would keep the stove from being scratched up. And you can simmer food and without burning it. So, hey, that's amazing. Have you guys heard of the simmer mat? If you have, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't heard of any other great gadgets to go in the kitchen, also mention that. But back to this emergency that's going on in the, uh, Ukraine. I know if y'all heard about it, say so in the comments. If y'all seen all the uh, prepping and the, and the survival folks shouting and screaming, go get this, go get that, <laughs> which they already have been doing, like I said, I guess, I don't know, like prices will go up, What like they already, it's not going to be a shock to y'all, because y'all already see some of you guys, if you know the food prices are way up to Zuzu, and, uh, yeah, I, I suggest you still go on out there and try to get you water. I don't know. I don't know what could happen. Because I read an article, allegedly, uh, the Putin man then said that we going to catch, well, not in these words, in his own words, I don't remember, but in my words, <laughs> he's saying, like, we going to be having a really mighty bad time if they interfere. If any uh, countries interfere with what he's doing in U Ukraine, and he going to attack, I guess, the United States also, allegedly. I now I only read, I have read this in articles. And I'm sure some of you guys do watch the news, read articles on the internet and so forth and so forth. But I say allegedly because I'm speaking out of content and I don't know what's real and what's not. But all I know is preppers going crazy, screaming at y'all in them videos, go stock up. If you, if you want some food, it ain't going to be no food available. But what I did... With my orders online, I was able to get mostly all my stuff except for some chicken wings. They substituted with some other flaps, which is fine because we like the flats anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm waiting on my orders. I got me some water. We already got juice and instant stuff to make drinks and stuff, but water is important. So, I don't know what supposed to go down as far as we already got inflation. It's supposed to be attacking allegedly the cyber uh, carrying on, but who know what can go on in this crazy world. We got the pandemic thing going on, and all that's being relaxed. And I'm hearing in Hong Kong, allegedly, they saying all those folks, well, allegedly, I'm saying all, but I'm generally like that. It's a bunch of folks got the infection, allegedly, in Hong Kong. So we relaxing, time about don't put your mask on and taking you don't have to wear it in the restroom man i'll keep in my mask on i don't care what they say and also i want to let y'all know i can't control y'all coming over here and saying 
girl this and girl that. So I got to let it go. I got to let it go. If y'all want to say girl, carry on. I just ain't going to take it personal. But y'all, the ones that do know, y'all know. But if y'all want to say that because I got people, they just can't help it. And they leaving some great comments. And I don't want to delete them anymore, okay? So I just got to let all that go. I got to do what I got to do. And be what it gotta be. But I just want to come here and let y'all know why I ain't been around. I've been nursing my wounds, nursing my husband, and trying to do what we need to do around here, taking care of business. But like I say, I ordered food because I listened. I went out there and I hoarded like a son of a gun. Can't you see what I done hoarded today? Yes. Yes, I did. And I know some of y'all think I'm an ignorant son SOB, but that's all right. Miss Janita going to get hers, and I'm going to do what I need to do to stay prepared. And, and stay in survival mode. I suggest maybe some of y'all that ain't got what y'all need, you might want to go out there and get it. Because, I don't know, check the news because people terrified where they at right now. Wouldn't you be if somebody was bombing right down the street from you? But allegedly, I got to keep saying allegedly. Disclaimer, all that good stuff to, to, to protect my interests and all that and carrying on. Okay, y'all. I tried my best. I worked my black butt off with my videos and everything for the month in order to try and get paid from YouTube. On all this note, I just got to let y'all know I didn't make it. Somebody wasn't watching the stuff. Somebody wasn't supporting. They came and said they would, but they really wasn't watching. And if y'all was watching... I take it all back, and you know, all I see on my, um, what is it, my settings page, where I see all the goings on with the points, watch hours, couple of dollars here, all I see is, I don't know what's going on, they, it's like they want me to come on here and make a video every single day, in order to earn some points, because every time I see I don't make a video, my watch hours go down, and the money go down and if i don't reach my dang breaking point they don't give you a dime and that's what i'm trying to tell y'all i can't wait for some of y'all that i can rely on and let me know what is your breaking point because uh yeah you want to well mine is a hundred dollars i don't get a hundred dollars i ain't getting a dime and that's why i work so hard on here trying to uh, uh, make as many videos some content that is worth watching and I know I do because I'm prepping and, and, and showing y'all all kind of stuff that ain't doing no different than none of the rest of these preppers and I was like in a mainstream when I was getting a, a, a certain amount of views and now I'm all cut back down but I, the channel all right but I don't I don't know what's going on y'all I don't know what's going on I don't I, I need the help of the looky loose. <laughs> The pacifies. Oh my god, the trollies. Oh lord. Might I suggest. But when y'all come through, don't forget. Like, I'm thinking the way I see it, 30 to 40 people come through uh religiously. And it would be well, at least 30 of them giving me thumbs up. So the people that are supporting my channel on a regular basis and doing it, you know, faithfully, loyally. I got some new subscribers, and I think, uh, believe a bunch of my new subscribers are including that 30 now. Hey, it don't matter if you got a bunch of subscribers. You're going to count how many that's loyal and going to come through. But the, the, I ain't got enough watch people. I ain't got enough watch people. I'm still struggling whether I'm... Uh, uh, monetize or not and I don't even know if I'm gonna be monetized any uh, 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 much longer if I keep losing watch time uh, view time so I don't know am I in the doghouse <laughs> I'm going on oh, oh yeah but I just wanted to share with y'all my simmer pad oh and don't forget to go check out Sarah and y'all can see her name in the comment section I said it if you listen to the whole video, you heard what I said her name was. And she'll probably come through because she'll know I'm talking about her because I'm mentioning the simmer pad. And you'll see her name. And I want y'all to go and check out um, her channel. She's a 
beautiful person. She's funny, charming, charismatic, all that good stuff. She leaves beautiful comments and sweet compliments. So if you want all that faithful, loyal support, go and subscribe to her channel and you won't be bored because she has great content. All right. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. And you heard the message and the tip is stay in survival mode.